All right, what's up, guys? So we are back, and I need to... This doesn't happen often, okay? This doesn't happen often, but occasionally I make a mistake. Now, in a previous video, I watched 90 seconds of Nagoriyuki footage two months before the game came out, and I, I said he's the worst character in the game. Now, I don't know how, but somehow I think I was wrong. I think that 90 seconds of footage, I might have been jumping the gun by making that declaration, but it's... It's it's wrong. I I, I I made a mistake. So what I just watched though is the Nagoriki character trailer put out by Arcus, and now I can safely say he is the best character in the game. So you can quote me on that. Uh, Nagoriki is probably top one. This is the best character in Guilty Gear Strive. And let me, if you don't believe me, let's just watch this. I'm going to show you why. It, it's this, this character is looking sauce. We already, you know, we already had an idea of how he works. If you haven't seen it, uh, he's based around the blood gauge, which you can't see. It's there on the left. Oh, don't mind this thing on the right, bud. Don't don't mind that. That's a stream thing. But, uh, you know, using specials fills up the blood gauge. And we weren't sure because we, we, we saw how much damage he takes. We're going to see it a little bit later. But when he goes into this berserk mode, he takes 50%, right? They're going to show it right now. He takes a flat 50% damage just from the life the life drain right here. But something we see, Jesus, God damn! Look at that! Look at look at that! That's only from activating the blood rage, going into berserk mode, right? He could have been getting hit this time. He could have lost the whole round. But something we see later on, there's a super that he can uh, he can actually leave, right? So he he has a, a full screen super, very very fast, right there called Zansetsu. When he activates that, he gets out of blood rage state. So something that we're kind of theory crafting right now on the stream is he might be able to just throw it out you know if the move is not really unsafe you can just kind of throw it out to cancel out the blood rage mode for 50 meter which is very very worth it now this is projectile this projectile is very good you know the only downside of course is that he has to activate it builds up his blood a little bit but the one thing that all the chip players are upset about is that this move you're going to see it here it goes through projectiles and keeps going and nullifies them chips gamma blade if chip does gamma blade the Gamma Blade gets hit, and Chip loses health. It's tragic. Right? So this move looks very good. If you're trying to zone him out and play a you know, fireball-based game, he can get in there. This is uh, that move we thought was a low, but this is a mid. Even though they say it's like a low-hitting move, it's it mid, at least in the matches we saw. You can block it standing or, or crouching here. But the thing is very fast, and you can cancel out. So this is basically... After watching this video, you're going to see what every move he has is he he looks very, very, very flexible in a game that a lot of people are saying is is restricted. And it, this game is definitely restricted compared to older Guilty Gears. It seems like this character is not at all. He can do whatever he wants. The only limit to him is the blood gauge, right? Like just that little string right there, right? Normal, normal into special, into the command dash special, another special, special back out of there. Right, very, very, very fluid, very, very free form, and it's very, very exciting. I think, I honestly, I think it might be the most interesting character in Strive right now. I'm really looking forward to trying him out in the beta here. And of course, he does big boy damage, as we see. Blood sucking universe. This is the command grab, bit of right in the boob right there. But the uh, we keep talking about the blood gauge, blood gauge, blood gauge. Uh, his his whole character is about using specials, but maintain that blood gauge and not going to berserk mode so this command grab as you see right there it lowers the blood gauge so it's gonna be very very important to be able to bring this in your game to avoid it earlier i was talking about how flexible he is i think they show the mix here look at that right so he cancels this is a special i believe anyway right that's special special command dash special special he canceled four different ones in a move in a row and that's that's tricky we see later he does back and forward and, and command grabs you so this is, uh, I, th I think when players really get comfortable and they really get good with him, it's going to be scary. It's going to be, he's going to be mad scary. If you're like, oh, I'm going to jump the command grab, he's got the anti-air one that'll bring you back down for like 50%. Like that was, like, that was a grab. I'm like, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited, but I'm worried, man. I'm also worried. This character could be nuts. We'll see. It, it feels like right now my thought process is that you have to weather the storm. Right? You're going to have to weather weather the storm and then just avoid all his mix. Like, avoid everything, avoid everything, and wait for him to go to Blood Rage. And then pray you can kill him. Because if he's able to get out with his next super we're going to see right now. Right? Again, this is, this is pretty cool. But this is just his regular 
combo super. This is the one I'm talking about. Zan, look at this damage. If you didn't see already, Zan said to. Ready. Bink. So not only is it damage crazy, not only is that full screen, but the most important thing, most exciting thing to me, is that he gets out of blood rage with this. Look at his two hits. Ready? One and two. 70% easy. So yeah, that's really hype, but that avoids the blood rage. It puts him back in normal mode, prevents him from losing all that life for just 50 meter. So I didn't know about that. You know, I didn't know about that move until this last match we saw. Dust in there, didn't get a combo. A, 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 one, two, three. That's him in blood rage right there. So look at his health. He was losing mad life. We'll see, we'll see. But yeah. There we go. So once again, I need to apologize. You know, I, I I need to apologize. He's not the worst character in the game. I thought I had enough data. You know, I thought that first to two match was enough data that all I needed to make a, a judgment. Turns out it was not. But now that I've seen this, now that I've seen this one, I can safely say he is top one though. So I that's confirmed. He's top one, I think. But but for real though, he he looked really he looked really exciting. I think. On the other hand, Giovanna not looking too hype you know she's cool character design her gameplay leaves a lot to be de desired i think he's the most interesting gameplay and his character design is cool as hell so good job on nagoryuki a lot better than bedman right that's a lot better additional or original character than bedman was in exert but like always if you're still watching let me know what you think i apologize i can't believe i was wrong uh let me know what you're thinking is he looking strong weak are you gonna try him out beta's in tomorrow so we'll see but uh, yeah, like always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.